Hello friends, in this part, first we have go to product filter model, and here we have define fetch data function with 7 argument. This function will return product data of particular page. Under this function we have write dollar query variable is equal to dollar this with make query function, with 5 argument like dollar minimum price, maximum price, brand, ram, and storage variable. In this function we have already make select query for filter product, so here we have store select query under this dollar query variable. Below this we have write dollar query variable, and in this variable we have append query like limit clause with dollar start variable, comma dollar limit variable, this is for pagination, for select product for particular page. After this we have write dollar data variable is equal to dollar this with database object, with query method, under this method we have write dollar query variable, this method will execute query, and store result under dollar data variable. Now we have write if statement, under condition we have write dollar data variable with number rows function, value greater than zero, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write for each loop, under condition we have write dollar data variable with result array function, as dollar row variable, this function will return query result in array format. Under this loop we have write dollar output variable, and in this variable we have append this HTML code. First we want to display mobile phone image, so here we have write image tag with source is equal to image folder slash dollar row product image variable, it will display mobile phone image. After this we want to display product name, so here we have write dollar row product name variable, it will display product name on web page. Then after we want to display product price, so here we have write dollar row product price variable, it will display product price on web page. Same way we want to display mobile phone camera details, so here we have write dollar row product camera variable, it will display mobile phone camera details on web page. Now we want to display mobile phone brand details, so here we have write dollar row product brand variable, it will display mobile phone brand detail on web page. After this we want to display mobile phone RAM details, so here we have write dollar row product RAM variable, this code will display mobile phone RAM details on web page. Lastly we want to display mobile phone internal storage details, so here we have write dollar row product storage variable, so it will display mobile phone internal storage details on web page. So here we have store all data in dollar output variable, now want to send this data as output of this function, so here we have write return statement with dollar output variable. Now we have go to product filter controller, and now we want to send this data in JSON format, so here we have write echo statement with JSON encode function, under this function we have write dollar output variable. Now we have go to product filter view file, and here we have called this filter data function with one as page argument, so when has been load then it will execute this function, 
and it will display mobile phone data with pagination link on web page. Friends here first we have refresh page, and after refresh of web page here we can see all mobile phone data on web page with pagination link without any filter, here first pagination link not working. For this we have go to product filter view file, and in jQuery code we have write dollar with document as selector with on method. And under this method we have right click event with pagination class with list tag with anchor tag, and event function. So when we have click on pagination link then this code has been execute. Under this we have write event dot prevent default method, this method will stop to redirect page to other page. Then after we have write variable page is equal to dollar this with data method, and under this method we have write ci pagination page variable. This method will fetch page number from this data variable, and store into page variable. After getting page number, now we have called this filter data function with page argument, so this function will fetch product data according to value of this page variable, and display on web page with pagination link. Friends first we have refresh page, after refresh of web page, we can see 8 mobile phone data on web page, now we want to see second page data, so we have click on page 2 pagination link. After click on page 2 pagination link, now we can see page 2 mobile phone data without refresh of web page, now we have proceed for filter this product data based on this filter with pagination link. For filter mobile phone we have go to product filter view file, and here we have write dollar with checkbox class common selector with click event, this is common class of all checkbox filter. So when we have click on any checkbox filter, then it will execute this block of code. Under this block we have write called filter data function, so when we have click on any filter checkbox then it will call this function, and it will filter mobile phone data according to selected filter. Now friends first we have refresh page, and after refresh of web page, now we want to get only mobile phone with only Google brand, so here we have select Google brand checkbox. After click on this filter option then on web page we can see only Google brand mobile on web page, and pagination link has been removed because there is only two product in this brand. Same way we want to display all mobile phone of Honor with 4GB RAM, so here we have select Honor brand, and here in RAM filter we have select 4GB, after selecting both filter then on web page we can this mobile phone according to filter. Now we want add price range filter also, so we have go to product filter view file, and here we have go to jQuery code part, and in this first we want to activate jQuery slider plugin. So for this we have write division tag id price range with slider method, this method will activate jQuery slider plugin on define division tag. Under this first we have write range option set to true, this option will represent a range on slider. In second option we have write minimum, this option define minimum value of the slider which is 1000. After this we have write maximum option, this option define the maximum value of the slider which is 65000. 
Below this we have write values option, so in this option we have to define two value because here we have range option set to true. So here we want to define minimum and maximum value of range slider which is 1000 and 65000. After this we have write step option and here we have write 500. This option is for when we have slide slider then it will directly change 500 on every slider slide left or right. Now we have write stop event, with function, with two argument like event, and user interface, this event will be triggered when mouse move stop. When mouse stop to move on slide then at that time we want to display mobile phone with price come between this minimum and maximum price range. Under this first we have write dollar with division tag, with price show with HTML method, and under this we have write UI.value 0 index dash UI.values 1 index, this code will display currently value of minimum and maximum price. After this we have write dollar with input field hidden minimum price with value method, and under this we have write UI.values 0 index, here we have store minimum range value under this hidden field. Same way we have write input field with ID hidden maximum price with value method, and under this we have write UI.values 1 index, here we have store current value of maximum value of range under this hidden field. Lastly we have called filter data function with one as page argument, this function will fetch minimum and maximum price from hidden field, and filter mobile phone data according selected filter on web page with pagination link. Now we have check output in browser. Friends first we have refresh web page, and after refresh of web page now we want to display mobile phone whose price is less than 20,000, so here we have slide maximum range to 25,000. After this we can see mobile phone with price less than or equal to 25,000, now from this we want to filter only honor brand mobile, so here we have select honor brand checkbox. After check of this brand checkbox, then we can see only honor brand mobile on web page without refresh of web page, same way we want to filter mobile phone with 4GB RAM mobile. So here we have select RAM filter with 4GB filter checkbox, and after click on this filter we can see mobile phone with price less than 25,000, brand honor, and 4GB, so this filter mobile phone we can see on web page. Now we have refresh page, and now we want to filter mobile phone with any price, any brand, and any RAM but we want to display 64 GB internal storage mobile phone, so we have select this filter option. After selecting of this option filter we can see mobile phone with internal storage 64 GB, so here our advanced Ajax product filter in CodeIgniter framework with pagination feature has been working. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, Please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel.
Thanks for watching this video tutorial.